Your next contest is a junior welterweight bout scheduled for four rounds. Bringing to you first from the blue corner, he is Daniel Bailey. Folks, we are patiently awaiting our first competitor of the or of our bout number two of the evening. Looks like he's just about ready to make his way out. There he is, our blue corner contestant here tonight, Daniel Bailey, 38 years old, and he will be fighting out of Rochester, New York. Three professional fights. He's actually looking to pick up his first victory here of the evening. Says he's looking to come out, be himself, have some fun, and take advantage of the moment. No doubt. I'm hoping we'll be having some fun here in the second second matchup. Daniel Bailey, ready for action as we await his opponent. And ladies and gentlemen, now let's bring out your red corner. He is Fabian Lopez. Fabian Lopez, the 20 year old out of Baytown, Texas, and you can hear the hometown ovation. My goodness, he calls himself the technician with 10 years ex of experience, and he said he will find any way to win. Shades of Marvin Hagler with war on his chest. Got to believe he's looking to come out and bring war to this to this boxing ring. We'll see what happens, folks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the action. Your next contest is a junior welterweight bout scheduled for four rounds. When the bell rings, in charge of the action will be official Joe Rodriguez. Introducing to you first, boxing out of the blue corner. In his fifth professional bout, he is wearing the black trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 141 pounds. He is the pride of Rochester, New York. Please put your hands together for the demigod, Daniel Bailey. And his opponent, boxing out of the red corner. He is undefeated in his young Professional career with six wins, no losses, two big wins coming by way of knockout. He's wearing a white trunks with gold trim. He weighed in at 139 pounds even for this contest. 
representing Baytown, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the technician, Fabian El Tecnico Lopez. All right, gentlemen, we gave you instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my uh, commands at all times, right? Cut you off, just say. Here we go, folks. Fabian Lopez undefeated and with a huge hometown advantage. Let's see if Dan Bailey can be the spoiler in this matchup. You got to believe he's thinking that way. Right away, Bailey coming out in the southpaw stance. See if Lopez can solve that puzzle. Both men looking to land those far straights. Lopez having a bit more success. You can see his punches come off just a bit more snap. Fabian Lopez been training for 10 years. He's 20 years old. Half of his life has been devoted to the sweet science. Looking to move his head in. Good job there by Lopez, stepping outside the lead foot to land his straight. It's a young man who's been trained on how to fight a southpaw, and we're seeing it here. He is turning it up early. Bailey trying to return fire, just does not have the same fire on it. He's got to find an angle on that. Trying to faint, trying to establish some sort of rhythm is Bailey. Lopez just walking him back to the ropes. Straight to the body, tempted by Bailey. Lopez again, stepping in. Trying to find the angle on the southpaw. Fabian Lopez trying to take that angle away. Stepping in to those shots. One minute left in the first round. And he's turning it up. Lopez is feeling loose. And Bailey is covering up. You know, it's got to feel good as a contender or as a competitor whenever the crowd comes alive for the action. Lopez again steps out the lead foot to set that straight up. Every time Bailey tries to float to his right, he gets jabbed. Ten seconds left. Oh, good right straight again by Lopez, turning it up at the 10 count. Feeling good, moving well is Fabian Lopez, and that was all his round. You know, the southpaw position is such an interesting thing. You have that open stance where you're kind of mirroring your opponent, but you know, if you can't utilize it as the southpaw, it'll be used against you just as effectively. And that's what we saw there. Fabian Lopez able to find his angles and able to land just power shot after power shot. But Dan Bailey has to do something to take advantage. You see, folks, Bayou Promotions, El Tigre Fight Promotions, you know, all of our sponsors on the screen, thank you so much. We could not do this without you here at Clear Life Media. Here we go, getting ready for round two of this matchup. See if Dan Bailey can do something to turn this tide, redirect that aggression. Good jab early by Bailey. Good jab can go a long way. 
especially if Lopez is going to hop in like that. Make him second guess. Just needs to be careful. Lopez again turning up the volume. A little bit of a slip there by, by Bailey. Lopez once again. Lopez reaching a bit with that straight. He needs to be careful. Turning up the volume again. The way Lopez cuts the ring off as well. This is a, just seeing the levels of the sweet science here. Volume to the ribs, to the head. And again, Back to the middle, but if Lopez has it his way, they will not be there long, and they are not. Once again, Bailey backed right up to the ropes. The craft of this young man, 20 years of age, and the way he's able to manipulate the fight, good straight there. Back to the ropes again. You watch the way, it's the way he moves his feet is Lopez. Moving his head, moving his feet, getting Bailey to go where he wants him. Good jab by Bailey, though. That's been about the only good punch he's landed. Again, the volume of Lopez. The southpaw puzzle was not a puzzle for him. Ooh, good left straight by Bailey. That's what you like to see from a southpaw. Bailey moving a little bit more loose after that punch landed, too. And Lopez looking a little a little hesitant to move in now. Might have him thinking. But I think the corner of Bailey wants more of that. There you go, Lopez trying to fire back. As a southpaw, that straight is set up to an open side. Lopez again taking the angle. Trying for that straight again is Bailey. 10 seconds left. That is time. Great second round of action there. We saw both men land some good punches. Got to believe a little bit more action from Fabian Lopez, but Bailey showing signs of life. Once he landed that good left straight, it did slow down Lopez a bit, but I don't think it was enough to take the round at all. You see there the lovely ring girls letting you know it's round number three, folks. Don't go anywhere. We still have two more rounds of action in this contest. As Fabian Lopez is looking to hold on, become 7 0. Just a heads up, folks, if for any reason you are having issues with the stream, whether it be on Facebook, YouTube, we will be catching this locally and we'll be reposting it. You will be able to rewatch this, no charge to yourself. Keep an eye out for that. Again, that's if you're having any issues. Hopefully you're not. Hopefully you're enjoying the fights, watching them with us. See Bailey once again. You know, drop a comment. Let us know who you think is winning this fight. Who are you rooting for tonight? Who are you tuning in for? We love the engagement. We love the interaction here at Clear Live Media. Ooh, Lopez looking for that counter straight. When he gets on the inside, he turns the volume up. And Bailey moving well here. He just needs to find a home for those hands. He's not had success doing that other than the one punch we saw in round number two. Lopez, you see there, walking down Bailey, trying to box him in. It's just ring cutting. 
And Bailey trying to jab his way out. Good left straight again. Lopez has to be careful. The deadly left straight of the southpaw. If you don't take an angle coming in, your head will be on center line for the straight, folks. You hear the crowd starting to come to life. And every time Bailey lands that straight, it slows down Lopez just a bit. He's still trying to throw here, still trying to get on the inside. Lopez trying to move his head as he comes in. There's a bit of trepidation after that left hand lands. Good jab by Bailey. Bailey starting to back up Lopez now. Lopez wanted to take back the center of that ring. Ooh, wide looping hook there by Bailey. Good straight there from Lopez as he's looking for it again. Bailey looking to return fire. Ten seconds left in the round. Lopez trying to turn up the heat here at the end of round number three. Good back and forth there. You got to give the round to Lopez a little bit more action, but I do think the cleanest punch of the round was landed by Bailey. In my opinion, Dan Bailey needs to do something in this round. He has had success landing his straight, but it has been sporadic. He has not been able to hit as frequently as I think his corner would like. In my opinion, maybe set the jab up, try to pop down the lead hand and land your left straight, but again, I'm just a commentator, folks. Fabian Lopez, you got to believe the technician wants none of that. He has been technical in this, no doubt about it, living up to the name. Handling the southpaw problem with an orthodox solution. We are just about ready for the final round here in this matchup. What has been a really good back and forth fight. And once again, folks, if you are having stream issues for any reason, we will be posting the full fights. We will be posting it for you to see. Clear Life Media on YouTube, Clear Life Media on Facebook. You will be able to see the whole thing. It will be captured locally. And we will be presenting it to you, no charge. Of course, you can also catch it on El Tigre's Facebook page as well. The show love to El Tigre promotions. Right away, both men throwing with some fire here. See those little feints. It's the little head feints from Lopez that put Bailey back into the corner. Watch the way his head bobs down. Little feints. Make Bailey back up, back up, back up, just like that. Back up, back up, and now he's on the ropes. Making him fight in a phone booth. You can take away that footwork if you make someone fight in that phone booth. Lopez doing it again, these little head feints, these little bobs. Volume there from Lopez, not a ton of power in those. Good straight again from Bailey. Anytime Lopez kind of widens his gloves, Bailey has been a bit of a sniper shot there with those. Right between the gloves. You got to believe he's hoping to catch Lopez's aggression coming in. of the angles Lopez is taking though Bailey has not been able to find the power on that straight the way he would want I got to believe Lopez turning it up again the crowd is coming to life here good right right hook there from Bailey Lopez again turning it up 
They're going back and forth here in Cleveland, Texas. Lopez has taken most of the rounds. Bailey not going away though, trying to swing with the counter hook and missing. Good, good trade there. Good hook to the body from Lopez. These two men are trying to leave it all out there. See Lopez take a little stutter step, taking the angle, throwing. Lopez feeling loose. Got to believe Bailey's going to look to counter. Lopez having none of it, feeling good. Got a little dance. Shades of Emmanuel Augustus throwing wild here at the end. Straight attempt by Bailey. Both men feeling good, and we have been presented with a great fight here at the Cleveland Civic Center at Bayou Fight Night. Awesome, awesome fight going to the judges for the decision. Nothing to be ashamed of for either fighter. Both men leaving it all out there, swinging for the fence. Some folks are going to have some black eyes after that one, no doubt about it. There you see, folks. Bayou Promotions presents El Tigre Fight Night. Bayou Fight Night. My goodness. It's a lot of fight nights, folks. I got to keep it together up here. Of course, it's, none of it will be possible without Bobby Harrison, who owns and operates Bayou Promotions. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We could not be seeing these great fights if it weren't for all of you. All of you watching at home, all of the sponsors helping us out. It's a great night all around, and man, we we still got a lot of fights left to go. We're only two fights in, everybody. We patiently await. There you see, once again. Fabian Lopez is the hometown boy. You got to believe they think their man won. It looks like we are ready for the official decision. Let's throw it up to David Austin. All right, once more for your boxers, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up once more for your boxers, ladies and gentlemen. As we go to the judges' scorecards, ladies and gentlemen, each judge at ringside scored the bout the same way, 40 to 36. For your winner, by a unanimous decision, he is Fabian El Tecnico Lopez. Fabian Lopez keeps his undefeated streak going, undefeated career even picking up the victory over a rugged double tough Dan Bailey, but the technician solved the Southpaw puzzle and manages to come out on top. Here in our second bout of the evening, congratulations to Fabian, the technician Lopez. The 20 year old is doing a fantastic job, folks. Got a heck of a career ahead of him if he keeps on this path.